welcome to the Chalk Talk series. This video is about the Higher Geography assignment and how to structure it. The assignment makes up one of the two components of your final award and is worth 27% of your final mark. The assignment will give you the opportunity to demonstrate your skills and knowledge and understanding of a chosen geographical topic or issue. The assignment can be completed at any time during Term 1 or Term 2 and different schools and centres will have different timescales. So please talk to your teacher or tutor for more precise details. The general structure of the assignment is split into three parts. The choosing and research of a topic or issue. The collection of data and production of processed information sheets which can be two A4 sheets or one A3 sheet, and then the final write-up. Geography is a very wide-ranging subject, and therefore there's a wide range of topics for you to choose from when it comes to your assignment. But here are some things to think about. It is important that you choose a topic of interest to you as you will probably do better in something that you have an invested interest in. Once you have chosen a topic to research, think about a title. This could be in the form of a question, a hypothesis or a statement. But don't make it too complicated, keep it simple. Once you have that established, you can also come up with aims. Perhaps three or four aims to try and direct the data that you are going to gather. When it comes to research and data gathering, you may use primary data collection or secondary data collection, or perhaps even a bit of both. Primary data collection is information that you collect yourself and could include measuring, observations, photographs, field sketches, and so on. Secondary data collection includes research. This might be from books or journals, it might be using websites, it might even be watching documentaries or listening to podcasts. But please make a note of any sources that you use. Once you have gathered your data, you need to process the information in order to create your processed information sheets. A reminder, this can be two A4 sheets or one A3 sheet. When creating your processed information sheets, it is worth noting that you should limit the amount of writing that you put on your sheets, as this could be seen as a straight lift when it comes to your write-up. So use these sheets as a prompt, but do not copy large amounts of detail from them. Although the processed information sheets are not marked, there is a penalty of six marks if they are not submitted along with your write-up. These examples are taken from the Understanding Standards website. Please note the variety of techniques used. Also note how the candidates have referenced each element. It is also acceptable to hand draw or computer generate your process data. And remember, if you have used any websites or other sources, please mark the source on your processed information sheet. When it comes to the write-up itself, your teacher or tutor will let you know when that will be. The write-up is under exam conditions and is one hour and 30 minutes. You will have your processed information, which you will take into your write-up with you. The assignment is then sent to the SQA for external marking. It is marked out of 30 over six sections. Section A is worth six marks and is based on carrying out research of your chosen topic. This is effectively your methodology and you should describe in detail two methods. This would include how you went about the collection of data, evaluating its effectiveness and limitations and how you overcame any problems. Section B is also worth six marks and this is about using your processed information. This could be identifying trends, patterns, anomalies, and relationships between data sets. You should try and refer to your processed information. You should also try and use 
your processed information to support your analysis and your knowledge and understanding of your topic. Section C draws on your knowledge and understanding of your chosen topic and is also worth six marks. This is basically your background information and is an opportunity to look at the area of study and put it into context. Think about why you chose this topic of study and why it is significant. This is a chance to give additional detail, exemplify and also give background theory where appropriate. These marks can also be credited anywhere within your write-up. Section D is about analysing your information and is worth eight marks. This is your opportunity to look for relationships, comparisons, contrasts between your data and to try and link it all together. You can bring in theory, your knowledge and understanding and also your processed information to back up what you are saying. Section E is about making an overall conclusion supported by the evidence that you have gathered and it is worth two marks. This is your opportunity to go back to your original title and think to yourself, how can I answer my original question? Have you proven or disproven your original hypothesis? Marks for conclusions can appear anywhere in your write-up, although you will not be awarded for repeated points. Final section, section F, is also worth two marks and is about communicating information. These marks can be awarded, again, anywhere within the write-up and are linked to the structure of your write-up. So, for example, your use of a title and your use of subheadings. You can also be credited marks for the appropriate use of geographical terminology. Some final points to consider for your higher geography write-up are make sure you have completed and handed in your processed information sheets. Although they are not marked, you will receive a penalty if you do not hand them in. This is also something that you can practice before your final write-up and it might be worth practicing in the time given, one hour and 30 minutes. There are also lots of marked examples of higher geography assignments on the SQA Understanding Standards website. We hope this video has been helpful. Please remember to check out the rest of the Chalk Talk series.